Hello everyone, this is Mr. Fox coming back to you with another episode of Let's Try Some Inscription. This will be episode number 4. Uh, after our initial session, uh, a free episode that, well, the sound was awful apparently. I had uh, my microphone volume set to only 50% and basically my voice sounded like it was coming from a barrel. For everyone uh, or for anyone that watched those three episodes, yep, I bet it was a treat. Alright, well, let's continue with our adventure, see what sort of trouble we can get ourselves into. All right, we are about to get into another encounter. Skull. Sliders. What did you say, stink bug? Now we learned some new tricks since last time that we can actually um, check out the cards that our opponent is using yep apparently scrolling was too much in the, those first uh, few episodes <coughs> um, okay so he has a sparrow a kingfisher two kingfishers and a stump I have a what? Grand fur? Fear? I guess it's a tree. Um, a card bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. Okay. So this counters the birds. Okay, so our uh, plan would be to uh, use this here scroll, a uh, scroll, squirrel. <laughs> no, not you, this one. Use the squirrel and Use the Mr. Mole Man to just have some defense going. Hope we are. Hopefully, we're doing the right thing. Um. Yeah, and that's about it for the turn. Let's see what's ha gonna happen. Oh, 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 oh! Mole Man to the rescue! Oh, and now those are both aquatic and flying? Now that's bad. Let's get another scroll. And just put it here to have these two sides defended. The beaver and the stink bug are not available yet. Booms! Mole man! Hmm. So Mr. Mole man will, will be dying next time. What we would need to do then is to come on, yes, get another squirrel going. No, not you. Come on, um, get another squirrel going. Beaver time. Sacrifice <laughs> these here two squirrels. 
and put the beaver here. Oh, but the beaver had that damn ability. We already messed up. Okay. Formidable defense. Boom. Boop. Boop. We should have had, I think, two spots here for uh, defending, but what's done is done. I'll just try another card. Black Goat. Mr. Stingbug, you're up. Choose another card. This seems to be a longer game than expected. Opossum has one, one. Hmm. Doesn't look too good for us. But here goes nothing. Okay, so she was flying the Kingfisher and uh, Mr. Opossum is fine now. Another card would be the logical decision here. One, one. Yes, I think we're good. Yes, perfect. Flawless victory. Maybe. Go to the left for some blood action or go to the right for some questionable action. Hmm. Questionable. The nascent fawn. It quickly grows into an elk. Good for her? Him? It? River Otter and a Cockroach. I think we like Cockroaches. Uh, I think this is for the Totem, the next one. The the bones of the ancient woman creaked and groaned as she approached. With gently shaking hands, she placed her offerings before you. Um, does this say what is, is it doing? Oh, okay, so it, we have a uh, flyer head and a wolf head and a base for flyers. We're just gonna take some wolf head. And... Are we gonna make aquatic wolves here? If this is what's happening? Apparently. Not creepy at all. Okay. The old woman collects her pieces and shuffled off into the darkness. Whoop, 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 whoop. Is this a boss fight? What's that? It's like a skull and some fish. It's a fisherman. A 
foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. <laughs> a hulking man sat by a brackfish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler, go fish. Mr. Angler is using a kingfisher as well. Let's put the squall down and the stoat to defend against that kingfisher. Hopefully that what is going to happen. <laughs> Bad play. Why? Are you not confident in my abilities, Mr. Stoat? And turn. Which fish can choose? Okay, so that's why it was a bad thing. Stick to our bad decisions here and go like this. Fresh of fish, easy choose. What does that mean? That's, that seems menacing. Hopefully the second squirrel won't get squirreled. Oh I should have put it here. We'll see. This won't come back to bite us. Take new fish. Easy. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can have the opossum. Go ahead. Oops. No opossum for you. <coughs> Go fish. What? Bait buckets. What does that even mean? Some sort of distraction? Can't play the cockroach. Can't play this though, I think, no? Uh, I guess not. Boop. Oh. Oh. So if we hit those, we are uh, gonna summon some nasty underwater monsters. Well... Bearing this serious sacrifice does not perish. Okay. Ah, but we still need to um, sacrifice it, so we knew. We actually need to survive one more. No. Well, everything went according to plan. Please try to remain alive for just a short while longer. I would like a memento. Um. Your death card. Let us begin. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. The cost. Uh, one of the cockroaches? A cost of four bones from the cockroach. And another, this time I will use its power and health. The numbers. Well, this one. Three power and four health from the wolf. Now choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. Bullfrog. A sigil of mighty leap from the bullfrog. We're creating some sort of monster here. I never did ask your name. Mr. Fox. Let's see if we can type. Prepare yourself. Death awaits. Are you ready? Um, no. <coughs> well, he died again. Are you prepared for what lies ahead? To be impaled on the angler's hook like the ones who came before? I wonder if we can actually defeat the angler the first time without messing things up. 
It seems the lowly stink bug has made its way in. But it's dealt, so it stands. Okay. Now he was saying that there's some sort of puzzle on the shelves. Is this the shelf? Some sort of four, five. Yeah, we needed to do five damage. And we have a skink. What is a skink? I forgot that I had put that there very well. You may add it to your deck and I'll deal you one every so often. What does it do? Can I do this one too? Five. Well, this one cannot be moved. We are doing only free damage because of this. What is? I don't know what the broken tail means. Okay, that does nothing, but that does free. this one here and this one here boom yes worker ant formidable creatures those ants very well I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challenges you got an ant and an ant queen I think oh more puzzles How much damage are we doing here now? Nothing. This one cannot be moved, but these two can. Three. Almost, but not quite. If I put this one here back, no. Just two. Ah, uh, this is more complicated. What, what can we do here? I need to figure out what the... What do these two mean? Uh, insect thing? I think it's an insect. And the broken tail. Lizard tail. Just doing two damage. This is doing two two damage too. 
but this is doing one damage. Four damage. This one should be okay. But if we move this one here, be free but if we do it here it's four okay four and four ah this one cannot be moved still four Okay, this puzzle has its as is has us a bit beaten. Let's just ooh, try another match. Ooh, where are you? Here. Let's try another encounter. Wolf question mark. Yeah, let's go like this with a questionable route. Wolf called behave, behave, oh behave. <laughs> uh, we're gonna get a wolf cub. And then backpack time. Boulder, please. Encounter. He has a long horn. A card bearing this sigil will strike each opposing space to the left and right of the space across from it. Oh, so we should put something in the right, in the front. Would that make sense? put this and put it in the front we have only one bone so that yeah I will not allow let's hold off to the boulder action later perfect or actually that wasn't perfect because I'm saving cars but I'm not saving life <laughs> yep it's boulder time not now draw a car okay drawing Jesus mm, drawing the card and let's put the boulder where the boulder here to, to have some defense from Mr. Pr Pronghorn here. Hmm. Let's try this. Get the next squirrel down. Um, and the uh, ant queen. Then it, the value represented with this sigil will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has under under side of the table oh so that's what means that's what the shelf puzzle meant interesting
yeah this would be the place thinking it will move here and it will attack this place Bug, you're up. I need to defend myself. Masterful. Well, thank you, Stink Bug. Forgot your name, sorry. <laughs> um, that is a good compliment to see or hear. Card up and running. I think the defense is quite good here. Let's see what's happening. Good. That stings. Now he's moving left. Hmm, to the left. He will move here and will attack Mr. Stinkbug. So what we're gonna use is this Mr. Ant here and sorry Mr. Stinkbug, you served your purpose. Pronghorn will move left and he should attack the ants. Or he doesn't even have the chance because yeah made made sense still a lot of things to learn in this game okay um, I will end this episode right here this has been tremendous fun can't wait to uh, get into the next episode to see um, the next few encounters, get an overlook at Mr. Angler, and uh, check out that uh, shelf, third shelf um, puzzle. Okay, with that being said then, this is Mr. Fox, thank you for joining Mr. Fox's Den, signing off, goodbye!